Welcome friends to this video. I'm going to show you how to add or change a background color to a Procreate painting. So let's say you have a painting like this and you want to add a background color and you go to add the background color and then this happens. And why does this happen? Well, the background color is actually showing through your foreground image because not all of these colors are fully opaque. Some of them are lighter and more transparent. So how do we fix this? Well, there is a way to do this. It's not perfect, but hopefully in future Procreate updates, this will get addressed. So this is going to be a little bit cringe, I guess you could say, but at least it'll help us give the best solution for what I can come up with. If you have a better solution, feel free to post your comments or even videos or anything you have on your suggestions. So let's, before we do this destructively, what we're gonna do is make a backup of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back. If we go to the gallery, we swipe to the left, we can choose duplicate and that'll create a backup copy. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at all of our layers. Now I have 20 different layers here and we're gonna have to merge these. So this is basically the last step that you would be doing if you're done with your painting. So come down here, swipe right on all of your layers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose group. Now I'm going to go ahead and collapse those layers into a single group. Now this is the point where there is no return. You can't go back after you merge these layers. Ideally, it would be great if Procreate would allow you to auto select, create a reference or a mask on multiple layers or a group like this. But unfortunately, we have to merge these layers. So if you go ahead and click on this and choose flatten, this will now create it as a single layer. Now I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to put it underneath there. And then I'm going to choose that original layer and go to reference. Then I'll come down here to the new layer and I'll choose my background color. What I'll go ahead and do is drop on the background here and I can swipe to increase or decrease the intensity around the image. So I'm gonna get it to where I, where I like. For example, if I go too far, it's gonna be on the image. So I'm gonna bring it back right about there. And now if I go ahead and hide this, you'll see that I have a white background behind my image. And so if I want, I can change this to any color that I like. So let's say I wanna change it to gray. I can go ahead and change it to gray. That's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Like I was saying, this is not the most optimal solution, but it will help you if you have decided you wanna change that background color and it bleeds through your image. I'm gonna be working through more videos through color theory, so make sure you subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on those. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you next time.